Alrighty, on tape, please. On tape? On tape, on tape. Okay. I got the pipe bowls. Uh, emptied out. They're done salt treating. And I've got a little bit of alcohol. Um, and I'm to kind of uh, loosen up the stuff in the shanks. I'm going to clean the shanks out. Some of the things that I use, I use a uh, um, bore brush for a 9mm. That's about the size of a 22 now because it's all worn down. Uh, it's just abrasive enough that I work it in the, um, the bigger part of the shank hole, beginning of it, to get all that gunk out of it, which I pretty much already have. Um, when I kind of cleaned out the salt from when I, when I salt treated the shanks. Uh, the shank brushes, they work alright. Um, and then uh, got the bristled and the non bristled pipe cleaners. I got Q-tips too, that's about all I use. Um, before I clean those out, I start cleaning those out, I'm going to um, get these hooked up in some bleach. So we got our little cup of bleach. Every good pipe maker has Vaseline. You know, for business. Now these stems, uh, they don't have any markings on them. Or else, uh, if they had any emblems or anything like that, I'd um, mark uh, the emblems with Vaseline, a good layer of Vaseline. But I'm just going to go over the, uh, what is it, the tenon? Yeah, I think so. Uh, the tenon, uh, cover this all up with Vaseline because it doesn't need to get uh, chewed up by any of that bleach. And you can see the same size it is. Don't really have to worry about uh, this area so much. And then I cover around the base also. Because you want to make sure it maintains that tight fit up against the uh, shank. And any uh, Vaseline that kind of works its way onto the edge there. Just clean that off. And we'll throw it in the bleach. Same thing with the custom build one. It doesn't have any markings on the stem. Tomorrow I'll work on the most uh, the embarrassing story for Jay. Work on the embarrassing story and my ladies' man story. I'm not sure if I'll do both tomorrow, but I'll go get one. Like I say, if you get any markings, like, you know, Savinelli, you get the shield, or you get uh, Nording with an N, or anything like that, you want to cover it uh, with the Vaseline, is what I use. Uh, sometimes I'll kind of tape off around it, cover the Vaseline and peel the tape off, because you want to get as much of it to touch the bleach as you can, but you don't want it to, you don't want that bleach to eat away and get toward that envelope and eat it up, so you can't see it anymore. It's the whole purpose of restoring them, keeping them as nice and neat as you can. So now you got a mug of bleach. And I'm gonna put a little bit more bleach in there. And we'll turn them back black.
Can I leave those anywhere from, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour to sometimes I've got to leave them in there for a few hours, take them out, sand them, and, uh, and re-bleach them. So it just depends if they turn black. They should turn black and kind of rough because it's eating all that outside oxidation on All right. Shank cleaning. Alcohol. We'll empty these out real quick. Vaseline up, we'll put it back in my nightstand. Oh, I'm kidding. Clean out some of this alcohol. Dry it up. I guess I usually use the uh, uh, brass brush just kind of for this bigger area, just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. Same thing with this one. I'll shove it into the shank hole that goes under the bolt, which is a big area where the tenon fits. Showed the best way to do it is to uh, put the pipe cleaner down in the shank hole until you see the the beginning of it in the bowl. You kind of see it right there, the beginning, and that's the point where you want to hold it at the right here, so that way it doesn't go in any farther and, and scratch up the bowl. You just work it, and you do this a bunch of times and go through. Ton of pipe cleaners. And if it's a really large uh, shank hole, you may want to uh, come out like that. You may want to double it over if it's wide, shank hole. To fit in there. shank is dry and it kind of breaks up some of the dry materials on the side. We can use it when it's wet. Keep getting just keep working it out, not horribly dirty. That's why I like to salt treat the shanks. It seems like it helps if you're able to.
<coughs> All right, well, I'm gonna keep working on these. Uh, keep an eye on uh, these stems until they get black again. All right, see you guys later.